The Miami Hurricanes blew into town Saturday afternoon, and prior to the game against the Buckeyes, the Canes were 1-5 in, in victories against teams outside of Florida. Well, Miami left Ohio 1-6 as the Bucks beat the U 36-24. Well, two teams played awfully hard against one another today. Uh, that was a battle. It was good speed and intensity and hitting going on. And, and uh, you know, when you can create four takeaways, uh, you're going to have a chance. And when you have zero giveaways, you're going to have a real good chance. After a 24-yard field goal from Devin Barclay, the U showed some swagger with an 88-yard kickoff return from Lamar Miller for the touchdown. On a solid pass for 62 yards from Pyre to Posey, it sets up an 18-yard touchdown pass to Brandon Sane. Boom Heron blasts into the end zone on a four-yard run to make the score 20-10 OSU. Well, the only blemishes of the first half and really the game was that for the first time since 1936, the Buckeyes allowed a punt return and a kickoff return, both for touchdowns. Are we concerned? Of course. Uh, can you win typically if that happens? No. But uh, the good news is our guys didn't fold. At the end of the third quarter, when the U was deep into the red zone, Cam Hayward picked off to Corey Harris and rumbled for 80 yards, which led to Pryor's 13-yard touchdown run. Well, Cam's play was extraordinary because it was down the red zone, and you know they were in scoring territory. I don't remember what the score was at the time, but they were going to bring it down to a one-score game, whatever that was at that moment. And uh, you know he made the play, and I was shocked how far he got. And I kept thinking that someone was going to catch up to him and strip the ball, a la Claret and Sean Taylor, you know, because he was swinging it out there. I'm going, oh man, I was petrified. But the other impact it had is he was tired for about 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm still tired. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, I had some great blocking from Ross and B-roll, and um, I'm just happy to make the play. Well, 15 of the Buckeyes' 36 points were from five field goals from Devin Barclay, which tied a school record. It was the first time I've ever been in a game where the kicker cramped up. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Well, I guess we called on him so much. He cramped up. I have a few kicks, but during the course of uh, you know a three or four hour game, you're on your feet, you're trying to stay loose, um, you're swinging your leg. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that you know I gotta I gotta do a better job of hydrating at halftime. Uh, well, even though the next opponents for the Buckeyes with Ohio U and Eastern Michigan are a little bit less threatening, the Buckeyes don't plan on letting up anytime soon, and they plan on taking each one game by game. For Columbus Wire TV, I'm Ashley Agnelzi.